Hi. About um, two weeks ago, I decided to make a daily vlog to show you what I eat and uh, to tell you how I feel. But uh, I've changed my mind because I realized I mostly eat the same things and it would be absurd to make a hundred videos to show you that I'm eating the same things over and over again, right? So I decided to tell you the conclusion and that is I'm a blood type A person and blood type A people have less acid in their stomach or maybe the pH is not low enough and is not capable of digesting meat because um, I feel the need to eat veggies or fruits as well and not just meat. Blood type 0 people can digest meat very well, that's why they can eat red meat and uh, they enjoy eating meat and they can eat only meat, nothing else. But as a blood type A person, I feel the need to eat veggies and fruits and I enjoy eating them raw. And something that I've noticed to be very important, it is extremely important to eat raw food separate than cooked food. So it is extremely important to eat any kind of raw food that you like and then wait at least one hour, preferably two hours, and then eat any kind of cooked food that you like. So uh, you may eat uh, fresh veggies or fresh fruits by fresh i mean anything that is maximum two days old so something that you pick from a tree today you may eat it today or maximum tomorrow that could be a salad that could be asparagus it could be a fruit anything that you can find fresh and then you have to wait two hours and then you may eat anything that you want and that you are not allergic to that is cooked you may eat cooked veggies or you may eat cooked meat or you may eat cooked veggies with meat it is worse to mix raw food with cooked food than it is to mix cooked veggies with cooked meat and um, now if I'm thinking about it uh, it makes sense why uh, in uh, France and in the UK kids are forced in school to eat salad raw salad and only after they eat the raw salad they are allowed to eat cooked meat Remember? I always wondered why they do not allow us to eat salad with the meat. Well, this is why. And it makes sense now. I've noticed it is extremely important to eat the raw products first, then wait two hours, and then eat cooked food. But those two hours are extremely important. Five minutes is not enough, because in five minutes your body doesn't have enough time to send the fruits or the veggies out of the stomach. So it is important to wait one hour or two hours. Then, uh, I've also noticed that um, when I eat something that I'm allergic to, I get mucus or I get a runny nose or itchy nose or itchy skin or I feel like my blood sugar fluctuates. And um, a few days ago, because it was an important day, my mom made cheesecake and I had a bite and uh, I noticed I had uh, mucus afterwards, so I'm definitely allergic to something in that cheesecake there was cheese i know i'm allergic to cheese and there was cream 
and there were eggs. I could be allergic to egg white because uh, that stops the digestion. But uh, I'm not exactly sure what is bad in dairy products. Some people say casein is bad, other people say lactose is bad. Other people say it's a fat because it has hormones. So I will wait two months and then I will try to eat ghee to see if I have the same allergic reaction. Now I have to wait two months for the inflammation to disappear. Because whenever you feel like you have a mucus, there's an inflammation in your body. And um, if you are blood type zero and you're thinking you must eat veggies as well for fibers, that's not true. We do not need fibers. It's not true that you have to eat fibers in order to poop every day. Because um, have you ever had a diarrhea? <laughs> do you remember what it's like? You poop water. Even if you don't eat anything for a few days, you still poop water. Because food doesn't push itself out. It's the intestine that squeezes itself, contracts itself like this, and it pushes food. It doesn't matter how much food you have in the intestine. If the intestine works 100%, it squeezes itself 100% and pushes out all the food. You don't need to have a kilogram, two kilograms, ten kilograms of food in your intestines. Because it doesn't matter how much food you have in there. Now, the intestine works just like your heart works. It's, it's like a muscle. It needs magnesium in order to function and maybe it needs some other minerals but when you do not have enough magnesium then muscles do not function correctly they are semi-contracted like this they do not extend fully and they do not contract fully they're semi-contracted and uh, that's when people have heart problems as well so if you are not regular, you should drink more water and add magnesium chloride in the water. But you do not have to eat fibers. Now, if you're a blood type A person, then you may eat veggies because you want to eat veggies, not because you have to eat veggies. If you do not like the taste of meat, then go ahead and eat veggies. If you can't eat raw veggies, go ahead and eat raw veggies. But if you have uh, any digestive issues, you might not be able to digest raw veggies. Well, what I'm saying is that you do not have to eat veggies if you don't want to. If you enjoy eating meat, go ahead and eat only meat. Because meat has minerals, the right amount of minerals you need, and it doesn't have fructose. Veggies have fructose. We try to stay away from fructose. But blood type A people can digest fructose better than blood type 0 people. Mm -hmm. That's all I've learned and um, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.